like I said in my previous video, allegations, there will be no end. If you are a man who is on his grind, if you are a man of means, females, especially if you take care of yourself, you got a decent mug that you're working with. If you were at the gym and you got a nice physique, the unwanted sexual attention that you will get will not end. If you got some money in your pocket, if you're out on your grind, you will deal with this for the rest of your life. Even if you got a wife, even if you got a girlfriend, she could be right next to you and they will still be staring at you, come, about, come throw it over here, daddy, come get it. That's just a reality. But that's not what you really got to worry about. What you really have to worry about is people like this dude right here, right? The simp will come out of the woodwork talking about, you don't understand these women, power dynamic, you know, they're not, they, they're not responsible. They're, they're out here, they're just getting abused. And meanwhile, isn't like 60 plus percent of all college graduates women, right? Isn't the vast majority of college debt held by all women? Aren't more and more jobs going to women than they are to men? Aren't men constantly being made fun of and mocked in TV shows and commercials and every man is, a, is an idiot? But it's the women out here that are struggling. It's the women out here that have nobody on their side, but dudes like this come out the woodwork everywhere, everywhere. I'm going to take a look at this video. You decide. That you have to realize, and I'm speaking directly to the people in the audience that think that they can just say stop and think that they can, like, we're not being SJWs. We're not being, like, it's not about, like, the movement, man. Oh, like, you know, like, women, like, like this is really fucking important. The fabric of the gaming s industry, it's that important, depends on you understanding this. That there is a serious, if you respect me at all, for all the work that I've put into uh, to this industry and everything I've fucking done, okay? Then, under, then, like, if you have even an ounce of respect for me, me, then like please listen and I will tell you that this power dynamic causes these this, this pressure to happen where you will freeze in that scenario and it is super fucked up and the only avenue that women have to be able to actually do anything is to put shit on Twitter because the fucking the fucking uh, police can't help them the, the, there's no justice system that can help them there's no system of law that can help them the only thing they have is a social support network that will hold these people accountable and get them out of the industry period that's the only thing since Nick Nikki Ovino, then a Sacred Heart University student, accused two university football players of raping her at an off-campus party. I went from being a college student to sitting at home, expelled, with no classes, no information, and no opportunity to even clear my name. Malik St. Hilaire told the judge his life has been a roller coaster since the false allegations against him. I just hope that, you know, she knows what she's done and the fact that my life will never be the same. Like, I have anxiety, I have, like, PTSD from this. Police say their investigation revealed Yovino did have sex with the two men, but it was consensual. She later admitted to lying in an effort to gain sympathy from a potential new boyfriend.